Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back once again it is your boy Duffer Josh and today we have some more Assetto Corsa for you guys and we're going to be taking a look at the Mark 1 Escort, the national hot rod from the 70s um, and this has also got a few different skins that I didn't know about as well so uh, we've got the Barry Lee skin there, we've got the 351 there which is probably my favourite Then you've got this uh, Polton Garage, which is a nice one too, and this one, which is a nice one as well. But Barry Lee, 351, in white, rod on on the front there. Looks the absolute dog's bollocks, doesn't it? Come on, let's be honest. Um, I don't think that you can um, change the wheels on this one, not that I can see or figured out yet. Um, but we can go and do the 360 view in the hangar, beach, wherever you want to do it. We'll just go with the hangar for now. Um, but we'll take another little look around this car and just have a good inspection on it and uh, see how well it's designed. And if, to be honest, I don't think I can pick out any faults with it. If I'm honest with you, car looks superb. The model is brilliant. Um, and like I say, I couldn't pick out any faults with it. If I'm honest, um, just look at even the reflection in it. Just detail is just awesome. Really put the work in hard on it. Even the inside the car, not like the cars in Wreckfest where they're all crappy and look horrible inside with just like a paint over the top of a flat panel. This is been done down to every last little nook and cranny. You got the roll bars in there, you got your pop rivets in the side, you got your deep dish steering wheel, the gear stick, the floor pans are all inserted, you got your dials really does look the part even the chrome on the door handles what a car what a job well done to these boys well done um, I will be getting all these listed on the website for you guys um, just to help you out and help people download them as well they've got a place to go if they haven't got Facebook which someone has requested so I am sorting that out mate don't worry um, and I'll get that done ASAP right with that let's go get racing um, we will be trying out a bit of nighttime racing today and we will be using hopefully I don't think it's going to work because I think I've just clicked start race and it may not be set up for night yet but we can always back out and put it in night later on um, but we will be doing some nighttime racing oh it looks like we have got night time on the Yarmouth Raceway spot on Right, let's get ready to rumble. Lights on. I don't think that should work though, because there's no lights in it. Got some smoke going on around here. What's that all about? Is it wet? Well, we got night and rain. Oh dear, this is going to be tricky. I think we have, because I can feel a little bit of slipperiness. Oh, I really need to sort my brakes out on this game, get it all programmed in properly. It's too stiff. What are we waiting for? Alright, mate, there's no need to jack me up. Jesus Christ, man. What are they doing? Oh, I know what's happened. Someone's crashed. They're all going to retire. We're going to have to restart this session. We'll have to restart. It's all good, though. Here we go, and the green flag drops. Still got the rolling lap though, haven't we, ladies and gentlemen? Can't believe how foggy, wetty it is. <laughs> it's a cold old night at the uh, Yarmouth Stadium. Be all right once we get the tires warmed up, I'm sure. Oh, oh, I can't believe how much it kicks out. It's crazy. Crazy. Look at him getting the dirt on the cars. Looks awesome. 
Yeah, I'm not as quick as I am on the, in the dry, that's for sure. Oh, and I'm not stopping in time for that either. Oh, be lent. Probably because I was cheeky and cut down the inside, but it's all good. We're back on the game. I can't believe how much of a struggle this is in the wet. Maybe I should put some different compound tyres on or something, I don't know. I say I am quite new to this game. And it is a struggle. It is a struggle. I'm actually uh, really slack lacking on the pace today in this uh, Escort in the wet. Well, I believe it's wet, or is it just damp? Might as well be drifting around here. Oh, we've got some positions because half of the cars just quit. <laughs> Talk about fighting it. Car sounds amazing though, it really does. It's a real struggle in the wet. A real struggle. I think I may just start using the handbrake into the corners. Just drift it around. <laughs> Oh dear, this is crazy. Let's get a bit of outer car view so you guys can see what's going on. How terrible I'm actually driving. Oh, he slapped the fence and spun it. All right, mate, get off me, will you? Frickin' just try and turn around. I blame it all on him. I'd be winning this if that weren't for him holding me up. <laughs> but I definitely would recommend this game, um, just even if you used to play these hot rods, because there's plenty more mods. Um, I think I found a, um, another little uh, hot rod pack that uh, I don't think is available anymore. Um, I think I've got my hands on one. And I should be doing a video on that. I may even get it done today and that'll come out either tomorrow or in a few days. But if I don't, then it may be a few weeks. Because obviously going away with work and things. I don't always get time. Got to take a whole different line in the wet. Give it a cheeky handbrake. <laughs> oh, I overcooked it. <laughs> It'll do. The sounds. Sounds are so amazing. I finished in sixth place. That's not too bad. Right, what we'll do is we'll head back. I'll bring it out in the sun. We'll have one more game in the sun and then... We'll finish it there, but I just can't get enough of this. It's just awesome. I do recommend buying it, definitely. The game isn't actually on sale anymore. It was last week, and it was uh, it was very cheap, at about £13, I believe. So, um, yeah, it's a shame, really. Oh, it was Yarmouth wet at night. Not quite how we wanted it to play out, but uh, it's all good. Um... If I just go into summary, I'll change the weather to daytime, um, which weather, night, and I want, should we have a bright haze, we'll have a bright hut. Huh? 
Bright Haze. Bright, uh, let's put it out. Bright Haze. Starting position last. We're going to put it up to. I will leave it at 16 laps. There we go. Yeah, so sorry that that wasn't the best. Um, the game decided to fire up on its own. We went for it anyway. It wasn't on the nighttime track either, which was a bit of, bit of a downer really, because I was looking forward to that. But that's the way it goes sometimes, I suppose. So we're going for what would it, what would be like in Yarmouth on a day in the old Yarmouth Stadium. Right, we're going to get away. We'll let them get ahead a little bit because they're a bit thingy on their brakes and I can't hit mine that hard. That's me really stamping on it, like really giving it some. Oh, this feels much better. Oh no, everyone's going to back out. Right. We'll give it another shot. Here we go. I'm skipping a few. I'm trying to get up the pack a little bit. What the hell was it? Did you see that car in the rearview mirror just then? Popping a wheelie. That shit was crazy. It was crazy. Ah, don't crash there, mate. We don't want no crashes, no fa fatalities in this one. It's not wreckfest. It's hot rods. There's no contact. It's supposed to be anyway. A little bit too sharp on the brakes. Oh, someone's crashed on the pit bend, is it? No, start start straight. Let's go around him people. Yes, he's retired. Hopefully, all the rest will keep going. No. Oh, don't say that. We're all quitting. No, I think only a three or four did. We're actually in fourth position already, which is a surprise, but. It's took me about five takes just to shoot this one video, so. Because the AI just keep crashing themselves. Just gonna sneak by. As you can see, they're still crashing themselves, but we're just gonna keep going on this one. Oh, that fricker! Did I cut him up, or did he just take my quarter panel out? Oh, he stuffed himself in the fence. Oh dear. Pile up. How the hell did I manage that? Screw up that bad. Nationals all about Ooh, a hot rod, classic hot rod, should I say? Just 
still fighting it. What are we in? Eighth position. Still miles behind. Bit of a dive. Really concentrating, trying to fight this car around here. Bringing it in nice and tight. On a different line there, it just didn't seem to work. Fuck, I screwed me up there, didn't he? Oh, so I got a seventh place. It was a bit of a sloppy race, two races to be fair, um, but just shows that it isn't an easy game and that is what this game is all about it's about trying to get the car around there in any condition but fighting it and having fun with it like i didn't finish first in any of the races the other day i did um but with this new setup that i'm trying really struggling at the moment so i might head back to the 380 degrees because it is a lot more racing like like you don't want to be doing this do you on a wheel so hopefully um We'll get all set up a bit better. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this little uh, race and that on here. Um, and a little more of an inside of the cars and how they look. Um, hopefully we'll have the Mini to show you soon. And I may have something a little else special for you. So um, yeah, hopefully it all goes well. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Duff Josh. Peace out, guys. So ladies and gentlemen, we're all loaded in. And this is the beauty. Tad has done an absolutely amazing job on this. Um, we've been through, we've tested it, and it ain't gonna get much better than this, really. Just look at the details he's put in, the fences, the, the stands, um, the grass, the texture of the track. He's got the vehicle in the middle, he's even got some piece of art looking back. I said I'm moving too far. He's even got the light poles with the uh, Jennies on the bottom, and I must say, they look absolutely brilliant. Um, and they do actually break up. I did